Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Feels like a while since I've done a sit down talking to you video and today's a very fun one. In honour of this video reaching 10,000 views, I thought it was about time to do a long awaited follow up video. So today we are discussing books to buy instead of the Penguin Clothbound classics. As you know, if you've seen my first video on this, I don't love the Penguin Clothbound Classics collection. Despite these books being incredibly beautiful, they have a real issue with lasting. And this is just one example. You'll have seen these if you've seen my previous video, and if not, you can go and watch it for the multitude of reasons why. I am not collecting these books any longer despite their beauty because I just feel like if you're spending money on collecting beautiful editions of books, of your favourite books or giving books as gifts, then you do really want to be able to read them and you want them to be able to last for more than a few months. So I'm having to dust off. <laughs> Those books are literally crumbling in my hands. But today I am going to be directing you to some of my other favourite book collections, things that you can buy instead of investing your money in cloth bound classics. I already have my eye on a few different book collections that I am desperate to start collecting, but when I was trying to figure out what books I should start collecting instead of the Penguin cloth bounds, I was thinking what else is actually out there and so I came up with this video idea to hopefully help anyone else who doesn't want to buy these books but still wants a beautiful collection to show off and display their favourite classics. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. We are going to be doing recommendations in three different pricing tiers. We have the cheap books, like what I'm calling cheap anyway, like these are books that are under £10, at least in the UK they are, and you can often find these collections in charity shops or they often go on sale, you can get them for pretty cheap. Next up we have some mid-range books, which is kind of where I would put the Penguin Clothbound Classics in, because these can retail anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds for a cloth band classic. So that's my mid range options. And then we also have very expensive, but very, very beautiful book collections that I really want to show you and talk about. Most of these books are just absolutely stunning and it's just where your personal preference and where your budget lies. So I really hope that I found something for everyone in this video no matter what your budget is, what you're looking for, and your personal taste and aesthetic in the book collections that you're looking for. And also at the end of this video, I'll be showing some specific collections with specific authors or themes, so that aren't quite comparable to a full collection of classics. But I really wanna shout them out because they're absolutely stunning as well. So let's start off with the cheaper end of these book collections. And actually this book collection editions were mentioned quite a lot in the comment section of my previous video because many people were saying that they actually love these editions sometimes more than the cloth band classics and you can buy a lot more of them for the same kind of value. So the first set of books that I want to direct your attention to is the Black Penguin Classics. I love the way that these look together and also they have such fun covers so I'm going to run through my collection of this very very quickly. Most of these I found in charity shops for £1, £2, £5 and some of them I have brought back brand new but usually they are well under £10. They're a very affordable option and they also have some really stunning art on the front as well. So in my collection of the Penguin Black Spine collection I have Crime and Punishment, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Art of Rhetoric, I haven't actually read that one yet, Dracula, Far from the Madding Crowd, Plato the Republic, another one I haven't actually read yet, and also A Room with a View, which is a slightly beat up copy, but I got this for three pounds, as I can see on the back, so I don't mind that at all. I also have David Copperfield, and last but very much not least, because this is probably my favorite cover of the whole se selection, it is War and Peace which I'm just obsessed with. So as you can see, there's a lot of choice. There's a lot of options. These are cheaper books. They're very readily available. And I think they look great when they're brand new. And they also, I think, look great when they're a bit beaten up and worn in because it shows that the book's been loved. These books, although they are on the cheaper end, I think hold up pretty well because also you can get this kind of fun beaten up look. But if you do care more about having a pristine book, you can really make these last. So I just think they are great value for the money. I always pick 
pick them up whenever I see any of the classics I want to read in these editions. I always pick them up in charity shops or anywhere I'm going and I really can't wait to continue to build out this collection. This is one of my absolute favourites and I know it's also one of yours favourites from all the comments in my previous video saying you would rather buy 20 of these copies instead of one of the Clothbound classics. There are about 20,000 different books in this collection which is insane but they also only go up to the beginning of the 20th century because after that you move into the Penguin Modern Classics selection which have this very beautiful blue colour and I really do love the way that these books look as well and as you can see I'm starting my own little mini collection of the Penguin Modern Classics as well. So for this I have The Hour of the Star, I have Seasons of Migration to the North, I have The Ice Palace which has got my favourite cover of the lot and I also have Portiki. So these are the modern classics and also in this kind of light blue scheme that they use for the, all the modern classics you can also get the books that look like this which is the same kind of light blue but these are the modern classics. So this is East of Eden. Five out of five book by the way if you haven't read this book go and read it. One of my absolute favourites and I also love this edition of it as well. So yeah that is the modern classics if you're interested in the difference. And while we're covering Penguin as well you can also start a collection of the little classics. So, so these are the Penguin Little Black classics and it's also another fun collection that you can start. They're all very very slim, they're usually I think more like poetry and essays. This one in itself is Letters to a Young Poet which is also an incredible book. This is actually the only one I have in this collection but I do think they look really cool when they're all put together and also they're very cheap themselves. This one is £2 and I didn't get it in a charity shop, I think it was just £2 in any shop. So so another fun way to collect books on a budget but obviously they are a lot more plain looking on the front cover but still very fun and also I think they're all numbered this is like 103 so that is another fun way of collecting books and then the last of my cheaper options are the vintage classics which have these iconic red spines and these are sometimes a little bit harder to find I would say they are still a lot in charity shops and you can still buy them online but I think some of the older editions are a bit harder to find right now they look more like this they are like focusing on less historical classics I think slightly more modern classics and they do often change kind of how the fronts of these look so like my editions that I've got are I have the Brothers Karamazov and I also have the Count of Monte Cristo and this is kind of how the new like Kurt Vonnegut ones look and Toni Morrison and To Kill a Mockingbird. These are all slightly newer editions in this collection I believe. But that is the vintage classics collection with the very iconic red spine. So that's another option if you don't love the penguin black like black spine classics basically. So next up we're moving on to the more mid-range price point. I'm kind of including this as books for around 15 to 20 pounds but you can't usually find them as much in charity shops. You might get lucky finding these ones in charity shops but usually they are still being sold in shops between 15 and 20 pounds or at least online the ones I'm looking at they're usually around that price point. Starting off one that is slightly on the lower end of this scale and also if you really like the way that the Penguin Clothman classics look with this kind of repeating motif but you don't really like maybe the cloth boundness or you don't think that it's gonna last very well, which they don't, you could definitely go for the Penguin English Library Collection. And I don't think I actually own any of these, but I see them all the time and they are very, very pretty. These classics range all the way from the 18th century to the Second World War, I believe. And I think stylistically, they're very similar to the Penguin Cloth Band Classics. So if you are looking for a kind of direct replacement, something that is a little bit cheaper, but maybe a bit more hard wearing, I don't actually own any of these editions so I can't be a good judge of how long they'll hold up but from what I've seen when I see them physically in bookshops they do look like they would hold up better than a cloth bound classic. I do think the collection itself is still pretty small it's not like 20,000 books like the uh, the penguin like black classics these ones are like I think there's only about 15 different editions in this book so maybe keep that in mind if you are wanting to buy up this collection. I think these ones look really beautiful with the coloured spine and they're really bright and colourful. They're a really fun collection to have. Just looking up online you can find these actually from anywhere from like around £10 for like the more popular ones or up to 15 sometimes but usually you can find them secondhand. I can already find quite a few that are under £5 so this is a very affordable option and probably should have gone in the budget category actually but it's just slightly more expensive than some of the ones in the budget category. The next collection is something if you really love the cloth bound aspect of the Penguin 
England cloth band classics but you know that they don't last very well then I have another option for you because you could buy the Puffin cloth bound collection. These books are really, really stunningly beautiful. I most often see the children's fairy tales classics in these editions whenever I see them in shops, but they also do do other classics as well. These would be beautiful gifts. And I think currently in this collection, there's around 25 books, but they also have some other cloth bound collections as well, a Puffin. So like I said, these are usually around 15 pounds you can sometimes get them on sale they'll be a lot less likely to be able to be found in charity shops or secondhand though I think they are a lot more of a rare kind of edition that you don't see as often next up is a book collection that I have my eye on I really really want to start buying up these books and I want to get in on the ground floor because these are a brand new collection as well well not brand new I think they first released the books a few months ago in October 2023 so they are still pretty new there's not too many yet I think there's around 18 books released they are so so stunning they are the vintage quarter bound classics so these look so beautiful let me just show you some of the copies like they are absolutely stunning books and they do seem like a kind of quite eclectic mix of books as well it's quite an unusual mix there are some classics that we would think of if you're looking for a classics collection but there are some books that are much more recently released but have had I'd say a huge cultural impact as well so this is such a fun collection to have a look at because aesthetically speaking as well some of these are my favorite of the collections these are just so so stunningly beautiful especially like this one the bloody chamber I am absolutely obsessed with I love this one of catch 22 I love that they've got the night circus in there I think that was really cool that's so many people's favorite book as well they are partly cloth bound so the like the strip that you see on the front covers is cloth bound and I think they come with a ribbon bookmark as well and these are hardcover books and they are beautifully beautifully made and I really want to start collecting these ones I think they're so so stunning and they retail around 18 pounds or 17 or 18 pounds and I don't think that you'll be able to find these for cheaper at the moment because like I said they are such a new collection as well but they will be also be consistently added to so if you're looking for a new collection to start that you don't feel too behind on maybe this is the one for you okay and the next one in the mid-range section that I really want to talk about is the Macmillan Collector's Library books which are are very very beautiful and I do have three here to show you so these are pretty small little mini books and they retail I think for anywhere between like 11 and like 17 pounds again I think it really depends where you're buying from them from if you're getting them within a wider collection or anything and you can sometimes get these secondhand but I haven't seen that many of them in my secondhand bookshop hunting so the books that I have in this collection are the Phantom of the Opera, Anne of Green Gables, and my favourite one is The Secret Garden. These all come with a ribbon bookmark and they have a dusk jacket as well, which I'll take off and show you underneath because it's so pretty as well. This kind of embossed and cloth bound book in this really pretty pale blue colour and I love the way they look they are really really cute they have gold writing down the spine. Like I said they have the book ribbon and also all of them have these beautiful gold edges which I do think that's just a nice touch like for this being in the mid-range like I know that they're small but they are very very pretty also I know people have lots of views on if books are glued in or sewed in and I think these are all sewn in meaning they do feel a bit higher quality as well and I do think that they'll last longer and they have very pretty printed end papers as well so these are the Macmillan collectors library editions I feel like that's a bit of a tongue twister to say. So I am collecting some of these books, obviously, but I'm going to be focusing on my collection with the children's books. So that's Anne of Green Gables and The Secret Garden. And if I buy more children's books, classics children's books, I think I will buy them in this edition because I think that they look so beautiful. I love the art on them. I love the way they look and they just look so beautiful together. They're so, so cute. If you're interested in starting your collection of these books, then there are absolutely tons of them already and they're still always really new ones as well and just from personal experience I can recommend that they do feel nice and good quality and I feel like they'll last as well so that is the Macmillan collectors library editions okay next up let's get into the expensive books these are some that oh I just if I had all the money in the world I would be buying so many of these collections but alas I do not I have to be contented with the mid-range price point but 
these books are so so tempting especially the first one that I'm going to talk about which is the painted classics so these books I believe are just a limited edition run there are not that many options in this collection but oh my god are they absolutely stunning they have this hand painted feel and I've seen them in bookshops and just been so blown away by how detailed and how beautiful they look they really do feel like painted books and pieces of art. My personal favourite ones are Persuasion by Jane Austen. I just love the colours on this one. And also Winnie the Pooh looks just so, so cute. I feel like this would be such a good gift for someone. These books do go for around 19 to 20 pounds though, depending on where you're buying them from. I have also seen them be sold for a lot more than that because they're limited edition. So there is gonna be a limited run of these, but I do feel like they have a very nice feel. Also when you see them in in person they have this clear like transparent wrap that you can kind of pull off and just the book itself underneath is this painted cover. These ones to me are very very tempting and I might have to buy a couple of these in my favourites even though I'm trying to obviously decide on just one collection to try and keep buying instead of having multiple book collections as I already do. So in terms of the more expensive side of things if you still want to have that cloth bound classic kind of feel instead of a painted cover or cover art then you could also go for the Chilton Classics collection. These I think go for around £20 but you can find them cheaper, I've often see them on sale and they have more of a like dark and moody vibe and feel to these books, kind of more of a serious vibe although some of them are very floral still and very bright. I do really like the look of these books though, especially the Jane Austen ones, I see these ones a lot and I think just depending on your aesthetic as well and what kind of things that you're attracted to, I feel like this could be a lot of people's favourites or like maybe people have already started a collection of these ones. So let's take it up a notch and talk about some very expensive books. So the books that I want to talk about are the Seasons Editions which is this beautiful collection of books and I do in fact have one and it was given to me as a gift so I don't know the original price of these books but because they were very very limited run they are going for insane prices currently. This one I've just looked it up and it's going for like £165 is the cheapest I could find this being sold for online which feels insane that I have a copy of it and I don't think they were that much originally but these books were published in 2019 to 2021 and they all followed different seasons. It's such a beautiful collection of books. I obviously have Dracula here which was part of the fall or autumn season and out of the original run of books there was only I think a couple per season or like four in each season and this was one of the fall books and there's only 10,000 books of each one printed so they're all numbered and I have number 6,263 out of 10,000 which feels crazy they're obviously very very beautiful books they have this stunning laser cut paper stenciling over the front that is so incredibly beautiful and intricate and it comes with a kind of plastic cover that I feel like I want to put on immediately. So the Seasons editions were done by Thomas Nelson and I've never actually read my copy of it but it does have these like beautiful standout pages of the letters that are sent within Dracula. I love Dracula as a book, it's one of my favourites and I just think these books are so so stunning and I think that after the original Seasons books were released they then did much more recently a like short edition of just the Jane Austen books, I think six Jane Austen books in the same style with the laser cut kind of stenciling on the front and they look absolutely beautiful as well but they all do come with the ribbon bookmark as well but this is not a collection that I will be buying anytime soon because of how limited edition this collection is. I think it's just <laughs> well out of my price range to buy now and I'm very very grateful that I got this one as a gift and I will always treasure it because it is so beautiful and such a fun thing to have. I love that I have this in my collection but I'm not going to be planning on you know expanding this collection anytime soon. Even me just touching it then it's got it all smudgy but let me try and show you what it looks like up close. They have a very cool quote on the back. So yeah I absolutely love this. Dracula's Castle and this does obviously come off with just the Dracula and kind of the gold sitting underneath. But I think the insane prices for these ones are only for the original run and the more recent ones of the Jane Austen ones are slightly more reasonably priced and slightly more easily found I believe. But they are looking like they're about 
30 pounds or 35 pounds I think is the cheapest that I could find for these ones. I feel like maybe we should round this video out with the most expensive of all of these collections that you could possibly buy and I haven't even seen any of these I don't think in person but they are absolutely stunning but be warned these are the most expensive ones on the entire list and it is anything from the Folio Society. These books are so so beautiful and there is a huge range of books but I think that they start at around £50 and for some of their special editions and limited editions you're going near to £500 for one book. So be warned, they're expensive. But these books are so so beautiful, they really look amazingly crafted. They also aren't limited just to classics, there are some more modern special editions you can get and there's also even some non-fictions that you can get like this one that I saw of The Origin of Species which is a book that I have read but this book is £500 so it looks absolutely stunning but it's not going to be something that I'm going to own anytime soon unless I win the lottery. Is there anything more to say? Well there is. If you ever find these in a charity shop grab them because people don't know what they've lost. But if you are looking for a lavish gift for a book lover in your life, I do think that these could make beautiful gifts for people because they have so many different types of books as well. Very new, like popular fiction, as well as classics, children's stories, non-fiction. Like I said, there's so much on there. It's a really fun website to browse if you are a book lover as well, just to see how the artists have interpreted the books as well. I think that they have really captured something so beautiful in so many of these covers and I absolutely love the way they look. Not that I would ever personally buy any of them because I would rather spend my money on other things and I don't think I would ever spend £500 in one go on one thing but that is just me so I did want to throw this in there. If you do have a higher budget and you're looking for something really really special then you can't go wrong with the Folio Society books because they are so so beautiful. Now we come to the end of the video I do want to shout out a few other collections that just are for specific authors that I absolutely love. I love when books get republished from an author and all of their books kind of match and look absolutely stunning so there are some obviously for the Bronte sisters that all look very matching and very pretty. There's loads of different ways you could go with Jane Austen for example but also some more recent authors like there's these beautiful Murakami covers that you could get a collection of but obviously these are just specific for those authors. For me personally if I was going to pick out of any of these I love these Virginia Woolf covers. I think they are so so beautiful and I would definitely buy some from this collection. And then another collection that I would also love that is also very specific is these Vintage Earth collections. So this is the Vintage Earth series and these are books that all really focus on nature which is one of my favourite things to read about, one of my favourite themes in any story and I love the way that these books look so I would love to have this collection as well. And I love that this is a fun way of bringing books together that all have similar themes and kind of republishing them in that way. But I also want to put a big disclaimer at the end of this video that is obviously for a lot of these books it is a big money-making scheme for publishers to republish especially classic books that are very cheap for them to republish. They already will own the rights to these books and then they can just package them up in very pretty boxes and sell them for incredible amounts of money. So I would say that the price is often not a reflection of the value of these books. It's the same book if you get it for £1 in a charity shop than if you spend £50 on one beautiful copy. It's just what joy you're getting out of the book by having it and owning it. And I do think that books to me are art. They are decoration as well as a joy to read. So I did just want to put that disclaimer in there that obviously I do know that a lot of these publishing houses just make a lot of money by continually republishing the classics in different beautiful editions but then on the other hand if you're enjoying them and buying them then you know that is up to you and it's something that's still a joy to have. But I think that is all from me today in this video. I actually found a few other editions I could have talked about but I feel like I've been talking already for too long and I think that this one is just a very fun video of showing you where you could spend your money and also where I will most likely be spending my money on different books in the future. I would be so interested to know if you could comment below which is your favourite collection, which one would you want to buy if money was no object, which one do you have the most of? I think that's also a fun comment and thanks for chilling with me and hanging out with me today but remember to leave a comment and like my videos and go and watch all my other videos and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!